Hey everyone, this is Mayu, and welcome to another drawing tutorial on my Mayu Art channel. So today I'm going to show you how to draw something from my new anime app I released recently. I'm glad many of you have told me that you enjoyed using my app called How to Draw Faces and Hairstyles. So I'm going to show you how to draw her for those who are new, step by step, including her cute little hairstyle, love her little hair bow up there, and then her face and the expression. Okay, so first I'm going to start with a circle. And don't worry if your circle doesn't look perfect. It doesn't have to be like, you know, the best, most perfectest circle. Uh, it just has to be like a round shape, basically. Okay, now I'm going into the bottom part of the face. I'm drawing a line from this side of the circle and I'm going down towards the bottom. And right now I'm kind of curving towards a pointed chin. And then I'll curve down just a little bit and then I'll stop right here. And then I'll go right back up. I think I'm gonna make the circle a little bit wider. So it's perfectly okay for you to adjust different sizes and proportions as you go along. So I'm gonna make this circle a little bit bigger. There we go. And then now I'm gonna connect that with this kind of like an upside down triangle or shovel shape for the lower part of the face. Okay, so we have the basic head shape with just a circle and then this triangular part. Now let's move into the face. So it might be a little tricky to draw uh, different facial features and make them like, you know, level or balanced, but this is a really good way to kind of keep everything in check just by drawing a middle line down here first. So this separates the two halves of the face and then I'm going into a curved line that's pretty high up on the face. So this is kind of like the upper eyelid. I like to draw that. You don't have to make it as big as I am. I'm just making it bigger so uh, hopefully it's easier for you guys to see what I'm doing in the video. But basically I have a middle line and the upper eye line. It's curved because I want this to curve around the circumference of the head. And then I have a lower eye line coming down right here. And you can place it near the bottom of the circle that you drew. So you'll also know that it's curving the other way. Oops. Okay. okay, once you have the guidelines for the face, I'm going into the neck. I won't make it too thick because I want this character to look more graceful. And just draw these two lines right here. And the lines won't be too long as well, just short little ones. Okay, now for that cute little bow on top. So I'm kind of using this middle line as a guide too. So I'll draw the middle of the bow by the middle line. And then I'll draw this side going out and I'll use curved soft lines so I'm not going to draw the bow like too rigid and then later on I'll show you how to make this look more like it's made out of hair not just a regular bow and if you want to learn how to draw all kinds of different anime faces, uh, characters, and their hairstyles for boys and girls, you can check out my new anime app. You're going to learn how to draw all kinds of different things step by step. And my easy voice instructions will be kind of like as if I'm right there with you, teaching you and guiding you along the way. You also get some tips on coloring and shading as well. Okay, so I have the basic shape of the bow. Now let's go into the nose and the mouth. So these will be the first facial features we'll tackle. And I like to put the nose fairly low on the bottom of the face. Right there. It's a really small nose. It's not going to be too big. There is all kinds of ways to draw noses. Alright, so we have a little anime nose and the mouth is quite small as well. She's kind of going like, ooh, like that. So her expression is going to be really cute and I'll make the mouth quite small. 
So it's quite dark right there. Okay, so once we have the nose and the mouth, let's go into the hair a little bit. I'll show you how to map out the hairstyle first. All we need to worry about at this stage is the basic uh, shape of the hair. I think I made that line a bit too far away from the head. Let's draw a little bit closer. There we go. So you can see the distance here. That's a really good way to show volume in a hairstyle. And that's how I like to make hair on my characters look thick. Okay, so I just drew a wavy line going around like that. So she'll have lots of volume on the side. Once we have the hair shapes done, let's go into the eyes now. So I like to use the top eye guide for the eyebrows. I'll draw them right up against it like that. And then I'll erase the eye guide so then you can see where the eyebrows are. And many of you have been asking me um, in the comments in my various different videos like how did I get so good at drawing um, or what is my secret to being able to draw like this and I really think that practice is the number one thing uh, that really makes a difference um, because you know when I started out I could not draw anything like this <laughs> my drawings were very different <laughs> if you've seen some of my redraw my childhood um, art challenges you would know what I'm talking about uh, but yeah like I you know, just practice. Practice really does make a huge difference. And the more you draw, then the better you'll get. Um, so just keep practicing, everyone. All right, so once you have something like that, let's go down into the... upper eyelids. So there's a little distance. I will leave a tiny distance between the crease and the lash line, which I'm drawing right now. And the lash line, I like to make it quite thick and dark. And for the bottom, so let's leave a big gap and go all the way down towards the bottom eye guide. So I'll just draw maybe right around here. So I just made the lash line thicker so it's easier for you to see. Once we have that, we'll just do the same thing on the side. I think I'll exaggerate the eyes a little bit for this tutorial to make it easier for you to see what I'm doing. Okay, so now she kind of looks a little scary, but let's fix that. I'm going into the iris and I'm starting on this side. I'm drawing a curve that connects the top and bottom lids. And I'll draw another curve to make the eye look round. So like that. And then inside, for this tutorial, I think I'll have a little area that's kind of empty. So right on the side here. And the highlights, usually in my other tutorials, you've seen me draw like really big ones. But I think for this tutorial, I'll change it a little bit so the highlights will be smaller. I have two little ones on the top, and then I'll erase this line. Once we have the eye sketched out, I'll draw some lines on the side of the head for the hair. And because I want the hair to look really soft and very nice, 
and not too harsh or rigid. I'm using really smooth looking lines, so nothing that's you know too jagged. So I have these flowing lines right here. I'll do the same thing on the other side of the head. So this is one nice wavy line followed by another one. And then go ahead and draw a little bit of the ear on the side. There we go. Okay, so she has hair on the sides, and now to draw her bangs. If you think bangs are a little bit tricky, let's draw the edge first. So this is just the guideline for me, so I know where most of the, or a lot of the hair is going to end up in. And then from there I'll just relax my wrist and just draw a bunch of these curved lines. So maybe she has a big group of hair right here. And I'm just using this edge as a guide. It can go over if you want. And I'll leave a gap maybe and draw a few more of these curved lines. And the same thing on this side. I'm going the other way now. Just repeat these lines and keep your wrist really soft and loose. So that's a really good way to make hair look natural. Just by drawing these soft looking curved lines. All right, now I'm erasing the first curve of the circle we drew. Okay, excellent everyone. So once we have this done, the bangs I mean, let's go into some more details for the sides and draw a few more lines. And now I want to show you how to break this area up into lines that actually look like hair. That's kind of important. So let's divide that using these curved lines. You can see that I'm coming from this and going up. So that's the direction I want to go. And some will be thin, some will be thicker. Just mix it up. Okay, same thing to the other side. I got short ones near the neck. I think I'll make the neck a little bit slimmer. Oh, she looks so pretty. Okay, now divide some of these areas into smaller, finer groups of hair by just drawing these lines and just follow the direction of the hair. Alright, so now it really looks like her hair looks much more natural. Okay, for the eyes, I want to draw her pupils. So I'm starting with an oval inside. <laughs> it looks kind of scary. She's gonna look a little freaky, but after we're done, I think she'll look alright. So we have this, just this wide empty oval inside the eye, I'll shade it in. In case you have any highlights above the pupil, just make sure you don't shade in those highlights because they have to remain white. Alright, so she has this really big pupil. Let's 
do the same thing on this side. If you want more drawing practice on drawing all kinds of different anime eyes for males and females and different types of characters, then this app will really help you get a good sense of how to draw different types of anime eyes and different shapes and also some different techniques on how to change the shapes to change the look of your character. So I hope that really helps you guys. Okay, so she has these two big dark pupils. She looks really intense. Alright. We're gonna show you how to make her eyes a little bit less intense coming up. Okay, but for now we have the drawing itself done for the eyes. Now let's go into some nice pretty lashes. So I just want to draw curved lines coming from this thick lash line and just curve up. You can do as many or as few lashes as you want. I'm going to draw a little bit more on the side here. And then going the other way. Okay, give us some nice cute little blush lines on the cheeks. I think they're very, very nice, very pretty. Okay, erase this line. Okay, and now for that hair bow. So it looks like a bow right now, but if you want to make it look like it's hair, just draw these short little lines going along the direction of the surface. So these lines will be curved right around the bend of the bow and these lines will be going in towards this crease. And just repeat. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to shade the eyes so she doesn't have that, she doesn't have this super intense look. So I'm going to shade fairly dark just on top right here of the eyes, but as I go down, I'm going to press lighter and lighter on my pencil until the very bottom, I'll just leave it white like that. So you have this really nice transition of dark to medium to light in the eye and that really helps soften the look and I think it gives the eye some really nice depth. So go ahead and try that. So right here again, dark to medium and then finally to light. So yeah, I hope this tutorial helped you and if you're really into drawing and want to learn how to expand your drawing skills and learn techniques that's going to help you create your own anime characters later on, then I highly recommend getting my anime app because for the price of an ice cream or a cup of coffee, you get to keep a lot of my drawings in the app on your mobile device and also you get to learn how to draw them. So I think that's really good for you to practice and to get better. And I hope this tutorial helped you. Let me know what you think in the comments. And on this May Art channel, I will try to upload some other drawing tutorials whenever I can. So if you haven't already, just subscribe and like this video and stay tuned for future videos. I have a new anime app out now on the App Store. Oh, many of you have been waiting for this. It's called How to Draw Easy Faces and Hairstyles and features my new, never before seen original designs. In How to Draw Faces and Hairstyles, you can draw and color all kinds of female and male faces and hairdos like a glamorous teen, a flower girl, 
hot guys, emo teen, a cheerful girl on her phone, and more characters. Helpful bonus tips will show you eye placement comparisons on the face, different face shapes, hairline comparisons, and more. I show all the steps from start to finish, so you know what to draw, when to draw it, and how to draw it. I also show you coloring steps to add life to your drawings and characters. It's kind of like having me as your own mobile art teacher. Follow along on your own paper at your own pace. Plus, this anime app have something new. I created bonus tips in the last two items. I hope to give you more ideas and examples to further your skills. Download my new anime app from the App Store for your Apple devices today to start drawing. They also make good birthday and holiday gifts and fun things to do after school and on weekends. Download links are in the video description and in the end card. Try my new app now and I hope it helps you expand your creativity and drawing skills. The more you draw, the better you draw. By the way, many of you told me you want more fun to draw tutorials. If you want to learn how to draw and color more cute, easy fun to draw cartoons, download my fun to draw apps for Apple and Android. You'll learn how to draw and color all kinds of fun to draw animals and people, fun to draw food, dogs and cats, wild animals, and fun to draw makeup, jewelry, furniture, and stylish girls. They're like your own mobile art teacher. My easy voice instructions and color-coded steps tell you what to draw, when to draw it, and how to draw it, so you can turn a simple shape into a complete character. Links are in the video description. The more you draw, the better you draw. Try my Fun to Draw apps and ebooks today.